Nestled around Lake Granbury, just 35 miles southwest of Fort Worth is Granbury, Texas, the nation's best historic small town with plenty to offer year-round. Hey everyone, I hope you're ready for an adventure because we are here in beautiful Granbury, Texas. And although the Christmas holiday has come to an end, the winter season is only beginning and we are here as winter guests and there's still tons to explore, including our sleeping quarters for the night. So come with me, let's take a look. Just steps away from the historic Granbury Courthouse is an upstairs loft fit for a queen. The name Almost Heaven pays tribute to its previous owners, all while keeping its doors open to the future. Oh, wow. Wow, this place is gorgeous. Oh my goodness, so beautiful. <laughs> Holy smokes. Erin, nice I'm to meet Cynthia you. I'm Cynthia James, and this is the Almost Heaven loft on the Granbury Downtown Square. It can hold two people in a, a king-size bed, and we have some beautiful seating and a small kitchen, and then you can even go outside here to uh, have a drink or whatever and listen to all the music in the downtown square. This charming, renovated one-bedroom studio overlooks the courtyard of beautiful Town Square. Elegantly designed, it truly feels like you're staying in a luxury hotel. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. I Another great space. <laughs> and just down the hall, res dreams and memories. An additional loft with two beds, a spacious dining area, and a wonderfully constructed walk-in bathroom. Y'all check out our patio, so cool. But Cynthia is not only a wonderful hostess to this Airbnb, she is a talented artist that owns a boutique right downstairs. This luxury studio sits just above Artifacts Boutique, a gallery of gifts and unusual finds. You'll come across handcrafted jewelry, one-of-a-kind art pieces, unique floral arrangements, and much, much more. This is gorgeous, just beautiful. Look at the way that just shines. And who better to talk to us about all things Granberry than the city's tourism director, Tammy Dooley. What makes Granberry so special to come and visit during the winter season? Well, I'm so glad you asked. We just got through with this magical Christmas season, but it just kicks back up for winter. Our winter guest season is where all of our restaurants and our lodging, all of our shopping, they do something special as some kind of a discount or incentive for people to come during the winter season. And so what are some of the popular things that we should do when we're here in Granberry or some of your winter guests should do? Well, the one thing you're going to get to do tomorrow is jump in our lake to kick off this whole season for our goosebump jump. I've so, heard about it. <laughs> <laughs> so that's going to start us off, but all of our bed and breakfast and all of our hotels are running great specials awesome. to stay multiple nights. Perfect. Our shops are putting everything on sale. I like that. So we're, um, it's a lot of fun during January and February. I love it. And so yes, the talk of the town is a little big event that's happening tomorrow. Do you mind uh, explaining and giving us a little bit more details on the event for tomorrow? Absolutely. So we are kicking off this winter tourism season with something called a Goosebump Jump. And that is because we're going to jump into the frigid waters of Lake Granberry. And um, we've been told 100% chance of snow tomorrow. 100% chance of snow tomorrow. 100% chance Texas. of snow in Texas. Oh my goodness. In Granberry on the beach. <laughs> here with us the last time we visited Granberry, you know wine is highly celebrated in the town. Which brings us to our next stop, Bull Lion Wine Shop. The Bull Lion Winery is actually located in Chalk Mountain, Texas, but the Italian family brings the goods straight to Granberry. The shop hosts weekly live entertainment and wine tastings, all produced from 100% Texas grapes. It's wine o'clock somewhere, and we're in the right spot at the right time. So please enlighten us about what we have in display right here. You're at the Bull Lion Ranch Wine Shop in Granbury. Yes. We make all of our wines. We grow our wines right outside of town on the ranch. Uh huh. We've got five wines for you to try, and we're going to try the lighter of the five okay. and work your way up. Okay. You're right now trying our San Giovese. A okay. staple wine of Italy, grows very well in Texas. A light wine, we just bottled this here recently. 
wonderful wine. It's spicy. a little spicy and I like it. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful wine. Awesome. Sangiovese is three quarters of the grapes in a Chianti. Okay. An old world Chianti. A Chianti. Right now you're going to try our family Chianti we call Texianti. Texianti. I like that. Right. Nice twist you're on it. You're going to love that. Gold medal winner three years in a row at Grape Fest. I like that. Oh, it does. It's my favorite so far. Oh, they're good, great with <laughs> pizza, steak, spaghetti. We love it. We're Italians. We make Italian wines. I like that. Okay. All right. Now you're going to try Montepulciano. Okay. It grows very well on our ranch as well. It has a greater uh, tint to it. I like that, this. Oh, it's wonderful. This is a very smooth wine. Mm -hmm. You're going to love this wine. It smells a, a little sweet. It, very, it, to... it, you're going you're gonna to taste a very a, a slightly sweet. The back end smoothness is what you're looking for in that yeah. particular wine. Oh, yeah. Right it there. nailed it. Now, nailed that one. Now, Got that one. Now we're going to try <laughs> our Cabernet. Okay. All right. Another gold medal winner. All right. And the Lone Star International Wine Competition. Okay. Very good wine right there. You're going to love that for, for a Cabernet, Texas Cab. Again, all of our grapes are Texas grapes. All of our wines are made from Texas grapes. I don't the know how to describe wine. it. It was like a little party the in the glass. The ladies wine. That's what we call it. <laughs> I liked it. I see why. Oh, I'm so glad. Awesome. All okay. right. Now we're going to our Malbec. Look at that color. When you pick Malbec, the juice just runs down your hands. Yeah. It's amazing. You won't. You can't wash your hands for days. I mean, it won't, the purple won't come off. Yeah. Well, you got a new lipstick, yeah. ladies in town. You got the new bold lipstick yeah. in town. Stay right where you are. Our time as winter guests in Granbury continues when Yellow Texas returns right after this commercial break. Welcome back to Yellow Texas, where we are exploring the charming small town of Granbury, the most historic small town in the nation. And next on our visit, Christina's American Table, located right on Town Square. Okay, so I'd say our day in Granberry has been off to a great start. We've done some shopping, checked out our Airbnb, so cool, and had some wine. But now I need to fill my stomach, if you know what I mean. I hear Christina's has some great seafood, so I'm going to look at the menu, see what they got. Choose from an extensive list of dishes and pair that with a specialty cocktail, excellent service, and live music and you're sure to feel right at home. I'm welcome to Christina's American Table. Thank you, thank you. What are you I, looking at today? I hear you have excellent seafood, yes, and I couldn't make up my mind. So I'm gonna try your lobster roll and your stuffed salmon. Of course, both excellent choices. Awesome, I'll thank you. I'll get that put in for you right back to Thank you, thank, thank you. you. Whether it's a Sunday brunch, weekday lunch, or late night dinner, you'll always cut into quality meals at Christina's American Table. I don't know if I've had a salmon that good before. It comes together perfectly. They know how to do it right here in Christina's. Although everything in Granbury is close in proximity, you can take your experience up a notch by seeing the town by carriage. Here's our uh, carriage for the night going to our next destination. Valor the Belgian draft horse is a rescue horse who was adopted by Mr. Tracy and Miss Vicky. Now Valor calls Granberry home and loves showing off his new turf. Hey! Valor stands at six feet high and weighs over 2,000 pounds. So carrying around a few folks by carriage is a piece of cake. And we here at Yellow Texas think it is a great alternative to get us to our final destination of the night, which is Local Boat Distillery. What started as a goat farm with a raw milk dairy business in mind, quickly turned into a microbrewery idea. Now Local Goat produces unique spirits with all the products locally based and some of those products come from waste. Well, so our vodka and gin are both made from uh, the waste product made from making cheese, whey. They separate the curds, we get there just in time to suck it out before it goes down the drain. We'll bring it back here to process and make our vodka and gin. Really? Right. Wow, okay, so this is unique. Yes, ma'am, yeah. So this one is the vodka. That's our vodka made from cow's milk, yep. Okay. Not goat's milk, unfortunately, because there's not a dairy around that has enough milk for us to get. Ooh. 
That's sweet. Next is our silver rum. So we did a 75% turbinado sugar, which is that sugar in the raw that has like a brown tinge to it. And then 25% molasses. Um, very smooth going yeah. down. Our yeah. gin, I wanted to make a navy strength gin. So it's 114 proof. 114 proof. These are all well done. All Good. well done. And the fact that they're made from waste, it blows my mind how delicious and tasty that is. So thank you to Local Go Distillery. I am nice and warm and toasty. And I'm definitely going to need that for tomorrow because we have a chilly start to our day. So. See y'all, wish me good luck, see you in the morning. Good morning from the annual Goosebump Jump here in Granbury, Texas. Behind me, over a hundred people, including myself, will be jumping into the frigid waters of Lake Granbury. And I know it's pretty sunny out here, but don't let that fool you, it's about 41 degrees outside. So yeah, it's pretty cold, but we're jumping into the new year feet first. Wish me good luck. So here's how it all goes down. First, sign yourself up. Second, dress in a festive costume. <laughs> and third, make your way to the snow. We're trying to get some winter activities here in Granbury, Texas, and uh, and we're inviting people from not only Granbury, but from the Metroplex, anybody in the state of Texas want to come and join us because we're going to make this bigger every year, and hopefully oh, yeah. the water will be just right to jump in. The event sponsored by the Granberry Lodging Association and Visit Granberry challenges all brave individuals to kick off the winter guest season with an event that literally makes a splash with all the proceeds going to a charity of the winner's choice. And before you know it, it was time to jump. After the jump, participants warmed up at the Hilton by hopping into the hot tub. Guests were also invited in for sweet treats and a warm fire. All right, so I can officially say that I survived the Goosebump Jump. I have this pretty little medal to prove it. All I have to say is if you're looking for something to do during the winter season, come out to Granberry, be their winter guest. They do not disappoint. In the meantime, I'm going to stay toasty by this fire, and I'll see y'all later. Bye! Be a Granberry winter guest by heading on over to the city's website for more information on all the places we visited today.